Willkommen zurück zu The Cat Lady. Wir sind gerade in unserer Wohnung und ähm, versuchen, einen Platz zu finden, an dem wir die Blumen unseres Verehrers verstecken können. Denn wir wollen natürlich nicht, dass unser Ehemann mitkriegt, dass wir einen Verehrer haben. Denn der scheint sehr eifersüchtig zu sein. Also... Können wir sie hier im Regal verstecken? Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. Aber wir sollten trotzdem. Aber sollten wir nicht trotzdem die Notiz entfernen? I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Hm. Eric must have come home early. But why? Der spricht ja gar nicht der gute Eric. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What what happened? Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again, here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So It was a bomb. Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Of course I care. I had no idea. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop. And all of a sudden, some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then, another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No. I just need a drink. I can wash later. Man, ist das ein sympathischer junger Mann. So freundlich. Shit. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Okay. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry. Again. I love you, Susan. 
Susan? You still there? Please, say something. Anything. I'm... I'm sorry, but he's not home. I... Excuse me? He's at work, isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? All right. Take care then. Oh Gott, oh Gott. Das wäre ja fast in die Hose gegangen. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued. But it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day. But it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Alter, ist das ein Arschloch. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, bitte oh, well, koch dir dein scheiß Essen doch selber. Because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. So sieht's aus. She better gets used to it, because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I'll get the respect I deserve. Es so ein Macho. Gott, ey. How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Ugh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. Oh, bitte. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. 
Ja, genau. Ey, das ist echt Horror, ihr Mann. We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. Alles nur, weil der blöde Eric uns da nicht reingelassen hat. The next time we saw her. When we found her. She. She was. It's pointless. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Oh oh. Der Mann mit dem Hammer ist wieder da. What do you want from us? Are you dead? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No. Take me instead. Take me. Not all. Uh... 
Scheint, als war es das jetzt wohl mit unserer einzigen Freundin. What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Können wir hier noch was mitnehmen? Ähm, ja, bevor wir nach Mitzi schauen, würde ich sagen, dass wir hier nochmal einen Cut machen und äh, uns dann beim nächsten Mal wiedersehen und gucken, was aus ihr geworden ist. Hoffen natürlich das Beste. <lacht> also, bis dann!